Dwayne Duggan, Remax of Boulder Video Podcast. Today we have Jessica Shanahan with Premier Lending here today. Welcome. Thanks for being here today. Nice to see you. So our topic today is about interest only loans. So interest only loans seem to come and go with the market uh, and they are starting to come back a little bit right now. So I thought it would be a good idea to have Jessica here to explain a little bit about what an interest only loan is. So what is an interest only loan when it comes to real estate mortgages? Oddly enough, in lending, nothing is common sense, right? But okay. this one actually says interest only and that's what it is. So Perfect. you're paying the interest only on your mortgage every month. That's what your mortgage payment is. And the interest is based on um, the loan balance, right? So if you're paying down the loan balance quickly, you're paying less each month. Okay. And so like if I am a consumer and I just want to pay an extra hundred dollars a month uh, to my principal, Mm -hmm. you're saying the payment goes down the next month. Exactly. That's pretty exciting because if you keep paying that hundred and then that payment just keeps lowering and lowering, we're on a 30 year loan. Right. What happens on a 30 year loan if you pay down extra? I mean, your payment stays the same. Same. It just shortens Mm -hmm. the term. Yep, exactly. The reason that we're doing this is just this month, uh, interest only loans um, have come back. And so Jessica's got a product and kind of why um, have they come and gone over the years? Well, the reason is it comes back in a stronger market, Okay. right? So um, there were a lot of them, what, 2005 yeah, probably? Yeah, pr- prior to 2007. Yep, and then they kind of got lost in the market and okay. now they're back because the market is stronger and people are making those like sort of riskier, I guess, loans now. Well, it seems like they got a bit of a bad rap during mm-hmm. the recession because if the principal wasn't going down and the values were going down, the buyers or the owners were going in the wrong direction. Right. And so when the market accelerates, it seems like it does help them keep the payment lower. And if they're disciplined, it's actually a great way to uh, to build equity. Who are interest-only loans available to? It's not available to everybody, is it, or is it? It's not available to everyone in that there are income qualifiers. So you need to show a household income when you come to borrow from us of 150 and 150,000 annually. So they're not really shooting for the first time buyers. Right, right, exactly. And what type of properties is it available for? So primary residence and second home. And so no investments yet. No investments yet. But I do remember back prior recession, Mm -hmm. these interest only loans were available for investment properties. And again, that was pretty attractive if you were into uh, equity buildup. So maybe those will come as the market matures a little bit more. Okay, and then how about kitty condo loans? Sure. Um, that's the college condo thing. Are these loans available for that? You could do it that way. So that's kind of what I was thinking, a way around that investment. You can't do it on an investment property, but if you want to put your child on the loan mm-hmm. and qualify that way, then that's something we could do. And the child would live in it to mm-hmm. be, need to be considered owner-occupied. Owner-occupied. Or, since these are a little bit different, what are the, the terms? We've already said it's not a 30-year AM, but right. what are rates and how does this work as far as the sure. terms go? So it is an ARM. There are three, five, seven, and 10-year ARMs available. And the ARM is an adjustable rate mortgage It's fixed for the first three, five, seven, ten, and then after that becomes a fully amortized loan that's also, um, the rate is going to change depending on where the market's at when you come out of that fixed period. Okay, so if somebody had a goal, they could go with a 10-year fix and work at paying it down, so by the end of the 10 years when it adjusts, there may not be that much loan left because you've been working on it paying it down, so that's not exactly. a bad strategy if that's your goal is to get a place paid off. And then what about uh, interest rate itself? What's like if somebody came to you today, what kind of interest rate range are we in for an interest only loan? Sure, so we're looking at about 4.875 right now, which sounds high when you're looking at the market for a 30-year fixed primary. Which um, is about what today? For four. A 30-year conforming. So 4%. About eight, eight tenths of a point yep. higher than what it is normally, but and I sold one uh, interest rates were 16%, so that right. still doesn't sound bad at all. So. Yeah. Okay, and then again, no investment properties, but any other tips on uh, using an interest-only loan? 
Well, I guess just going back to that kitty condo, that also helps us avoid any occupancy okay. issues with the condo project. So you could do an interest only loan on a condo as well. Okay. And are these available for refinances? Yes. Okay. So are. purchases and refinances, which makes me think of a story where I had somebody that was running a little short every month and they were able to refinance to an interest only. And this was pre 2007 mm -hmm. and they were able to lower their payment and stay where they were at just for that type of product. Uh, being available so that worked out pretty good for them so a lot of different options for interest only and Jessica if somebody wants to talk to you about that how do they get a hold of you sure so call me at Premier Lending my phone number 720-833-7964 okay Jessica thanks a bunch for being here appreciate Thank it you. Dwayne Duggan Remax Boulder video podcast signing off